Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricent Tostoska Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published 35 YouTube videos covering different topics of Tricent Tostoska Automation. And in terms of advanced level concepts, I have covered almost 20 YouTube videos. I would recommend you guys to please go through those videos before you watch this session. This is our lesson 35 in terms of overall Tosca automation tutorial and it is lesson 20 in terms of advanced level concepts. So in this lesson, I'm going to cover how can we connect with your Excel engine, which means how can you perform different operations related to Excel workbooks by using Tricentis Tosca. So I'm going to teach you how can you create or open an existing Excel sheets and then how can we modify values within the Excel sheet, right? And then how can you save the data within the Excel sheet and then how can we close the Excel sheet? Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, what is our agenda? So in this lesson, you learn how can we open and create Excel workbooks by using Tricent Tosca, and also how can you create Excel worksheet within the Excel workbook and how can you define the Excel range within the worksheet. And then how can you manipulate the Excel range, which means how can you modify or enter the data within the Excel sheet? And how can you save and close your Excel workbook after modifying the data within the Excel sheet? So now let's jump onto the system and see how can we perform all these operations by using Tricentis Tosca. So this is my Tricentis Tosca. So let us first create one folder. Okay, the folder name is Excel Engine Operations. And within this folder, I'm going to create one test case called Excel Operations. Okay, so now in this particular test case, let us start creating the Excel operations related test steps. Okay, what is our agenda? First, you need to open or create Excel workbook. Okay, so for that, you need to right click and then add test step. Here, I'm going to call an Excel operation called open Excel workbook. So, this is your standard module within the T box engine under Excel. Okay, so I'm going to call this, I'm going to say what is the workbook name? So if you see here, open Excel workbook T-Box engine, you need to provide the workbook name. So let me provide the workbook name as demo. And what is the path that you want to create an Excel workbook? I want to take the documents. Okay, let's take the path of this. Okay, go to properties. And this is my path. Copy the path. And then paste the path here. And I need to append with my demo dot xlsx xlsx okay so and then do you want to create the excel workbook new yes because I don't have the excel sheet created in this particular folder so I want to create it as a new let's select true so once you create your excel workbook I need to create Excel worksheet. Okay. For that again, let's go control T. Here, you need to create, call create Excel worksheet. So if you see, this is your create Excel worksheet. Okay. Click on this. And here, you need to again provide workbook name. What is the workbook name that we've defined earlier? The demo and then what is the worksheet name that you want to create I want to create a worksheet name called 
task up. And then what is the worksheet order? That means whatever the worksheet task are that you are creating within the workbook, what is the order? Do you want to create as a first tab, second tab or third tab, right? So you can select, I will be selecting it as first tab. So let us now run these two together and see. Run these together and see if it creates your Excel workbook and the Excel worksheet. So run successful. If you go to your documents, let's click on date modified. I can see there is no work, works Excel sheet is created. Why? Because Tasca does not save Excel workbook unless you save it. So for this, there is another operation called save Excel workbook. Okay, so let me do one thing. So there is another operation called close, not save, close Excel workbook. When you are closing the Excel workbook, there itself you can provide command or argument whether you want to save it or not. Okay, let me save this now. So what I'm going to do, what is the workbook name again? The same name what you provided earlier. What is the path that you want to um, save this? I want to save the same path where I created. Right? And then save true or false. You can select save true. So now save this. Now it let us run all these three steps together. Right click and run. Now we will see what happens. Now it should create your Excel workbook. Let's go to our documents and then just simply modify. See, now I can see the Excel workbook demo. Open this and you have to see the tab Tasca in the order one. See, this is your first tab, Tasca. Okay, successfully we created. Now, what is our next agenda? Our next agenda is we opened your Excel workbook or created workbook and then we created Excel worksheet and we saved it. But now before you save it, I want to define the Excel range. What do you mean by Excel range? I want to define the Excel range where what I mean. So basically, I want to define Excel range like this. If I define A1 and K20, that means I want to manipulate Excel data within this range A1, K, A1, column A, first row, column K, 20th row. Right? So I want to define that kind of Excel range. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to define the Excel range as like this A1, probably like P50. Let's say 50. I have a table with two columns and 50 rows okay so that's we that's what we are going to do okay let's go back here now for defining the excel range there is an operation called control t define excel range this is also from standard modules whatever the excel operations all are from standard modules okay select this one and now let me define the excel name what is the workbook name same workbook whatever we created and same worksheet that we created earlier and what is the range name so you can give the range name some range name actually so you can give the range name this entire range name i want to give it as probably employee data because i want to store the employee data within this table okay so i'm going to make this as employee employee data name this as employee data okay i named it as employee data now you need to define data range what is the data range see what is the start cell and your end cell what is the start cell and end cell as i told you a1 to b50 correct i'm going to define a1 
P phi zero. So done. So now I have defined my Excel range. Once you define the Excel range, now you need to modify the data or you need to enter the data that you want to enter in Excel workbook within the range, right? So what I'm going to do now, let's do one thing, okay? Let us do now to manipulate the range. There is an option operation called Excel range manipulation. So Excel range manipulation which, ma which manipulates or which modifies the data within the range. Okay. So now if you see here, you have a range name. So what is the range name that you provided? I provide the range name called employee data. Copy the same thing, put it here. Okay. And now expand this data table. Let us minimize rest all so that you can see everything. Now, if you see data table has a row and column. Now, first you need to define your header. You need to define header. I want to name this as, let's say, first I'm gonna enter the full name column. And then I want to enter the salary of each employee. Let's assume salary. Okay. So that means these two columns I want to create. How can you create that? Go back here. Under row, I want to select it as a header first. This is the header. But what is the cell that you want to enter? I want to, in the first cell, on header, in the first cell, I want to enter full name, right? In the first cell, hash one, enter it as full name, full name. And in your second cell, what is that hash two? I want to enter the header as salary, right? So done. Now, I want to fill employee's name and the salary. How can we do that? So simply this time again come to the new row. Your header row is done. Now you need to define new row. How? My first row after header dollar one. Anytime your first row after header is dollar one. Okay. Now again hash one which is my first cell of my first row. I'm going to name this as, I mean, I want to enter the employee name as Ravi Kant. And we're going to, for example, okay. And then what is the salary? Again, that is your second cell, hash two. Let's say salary, I will be defining it as 30,000 or 50,000, let's say. 50,000. Okay. Now, your first row is done. Now, I want to enter another employee. So, before that, I want to store this salary into a buffer. Okay. I'm going to do that because I'm going to perform some calculations. Dollar two, sorry, hash two. What I'm doing? Hash two means this cell. I'm going to define. I'm going to tell to store into a buffer called amount or do you want things salary one i'm gonna create a buffer here here change this as buffer and rest all also see here it is taking verify no i don't want to verify this i want to enter it so that's why input you need to select the action mode input for entering the values input input but your first row and header, right? These are actually select. You are selecting the data table, header you are selecting, and then you are inputting the information. Now, I am saving or storing the salary of first employee into a buffer called salary one. Now, let us go to our second row, dollar two. Okay, here, Again, my first cell, hash one, 
I want to name this as the employee name Okay, I'm going to put the employee name and then here salary. Okay, what is the salary? Let's say again here 40,000. Let's assume 40,000. Again, I want to store this. Here you need to change your action mode. Don't forget to change the action mode as input. Okay, so here now again store hash to the same cell value into a buffer buffer called salary 2 and put it into buffer ok done so now I want to enter last one I want to enter the last row ok here dollar 3 third row in third row I want to have a total ok total salary I'm going to say hash 1 I'm going to mention it as total amount total amount and then here I want to calculate the total amount right in cell 2 third row cell 2 here I want to calculate the total amount here you need to introduce the math function what I'm going to do here, if you, I'm going to explain you what is this math function, okay? If you see in math, what I'm going to do here, salary 1 and salary 2, salary 2. If you see, open curly braces, math, I've already covered all these math functions in my previous session, okay? I would recommend you guys to go through those sessions. Open curly braces, math. And then open your square bracket and you are calling your first buffer salary 1 plus your second buffer salary 2 and closing all your parentheses. So if you click on other cell, see now your formula is correct. So here I need to input this. This is my input total and here, so what I am doing here instead of sorry, so before you verify this right, I want to insert. So let me do one thing. I want to remove this formula from here. I want to enter the value first. What I am doing, I am going to enter the value as 90,000 because your total salary 50,000 plus 40,000 is 90,000. Right? I am going to input that and then I am going to verify if I inputted correct or not. That means again hash 2, I am going to calculate salary 1 plus salary 2 should be 90,000. I am going to verify if I am entering the correct value or not. Okay, math function. So here I am going to leave this as verify. Let's minimize this. So basically we manipulated everything. But one thing we have to do, I don't want to close the Excel workbook here. I want to close the Excel workbook and save it after defining Excel range, after entering the data. Bring this down. Right? So if you see now my sequence, open Excel book, create worksheet, define your Excel range, and then you are manipulating. That means you are entering the data in two columns and three rows. And I am verifying if the total amount is whatever I entered is correct or not by introducing the math function. Okay? And then I am closing the worksheet and where I am saving the worksheet. Okay, so now let us run all these together. So before I run, let me close this workbook and I want to delete the workbook. Okay, let's delete the workbook because I have to delete manually now. Okay, let's delete manually for now. I'll tell you later how to delete automatically. Okay, right click and run this now and see what it is going to do. It should create your excel workbook, worksheet. So now, see everything is passed. You also created your excel range also, manipulated excel range. Now let us go to our documents here and 
state modified and here open the workbook see here now see it entered all the salaries and it provided total amount and 90000 right and also if you see it should verify it should have verified your total amount correct or not let's go here in uh, see here verification is success your expected value is 90000 actually is 90000 right but if i run this again now what is happens it's going to fail because your excel sheet is already exist so let's because we selected create new let's say run this it says it's going to fail by saying your excel already exist so then what should we do we have to delete excel file whenever there is p so that means first i need to delete if the excel sheet exists then i need to delete see here says file name already exists when i am saving it so that means i need to introduce another test step for deleting the excel workbook delete file delete file so delete file is one common operation it's not excel related but any file it's going to delete i'm going to bring this to the top okay here i'm going to specify the directory what is the directory of your excel this is the directory copy this and what is the file name that you want to delete i want to delete the file name dot xlsx so now if i run this now again if the excel sheet exists it deletes if does not exist it's not going to fail okay right click and run so now it will delete the demo dot xls see it deleted now it creates the new one and it enters entire the data done See, now it's let's go back to my documents let's go to documents and sort it as a modified see i can see excel sheet is created and your data has been entered right hope you all understand the concepts of excel operations how can you perform different excel operations by using tricentis tosca hope you all understand the concepts of how can you perform different excel operations by using tricentis tosca please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notification whenever i publish more videos thank you